Hi there, students. We Brits love to use these words may and might. We love them because they help us to avoid being direct and they help us to sound more polite. So, I will come tomorrow. If you don't come, you look bad. In English, if you say yes, then you must do what you say. I may come tomorrow. I might come tomorrow. It means if I come, that's good. And if I don't come, it's not a problem. So the Brits love this, these words may and might because they avoid committing yourself completely and absolutely. It avoids saying that something is black or white. Um, we very often use this may in the negative to criticise something. So I could say, the food was terrible. That's very direct and very rude in English. The food may not have been the best. It might not have been the tastiest meal. This is much less direct and this sounds much more British. I'm saying the possibility exists. Some people could think that this food was not brilliant. But when a Brit says that, in, in effect they're saying, I didn't like it. Yeah, um, this product is very expensive. The product might not be the cheapest. So notice I'm using a negative may or a negative might and the opposite adjective. I know I've talked about this using opposites, opposite adjectives as well to be polite. So instead of stupid, you say not intelligent. Instead of ugly, you say not pretty. Instead of uh, cold, it's not warm. Instead of expensive, not cheap. And then what you need to do to this is you add may or might. And this is adding another level of politeness to it. His classes are really boring. His classes may not be the most interesting. Okay? The possibility exists that they're not the most interesting. This is the pro one of the problem with the Brits. We find it very difficult to be direct and you need to read between the lines. Okay? So, when he says um, the food may not be the tastiest, you need to think about it and realise that even by making a criticism, the possibility exists that it's not the tastiest. The fact that the person has actually said something that is even critical, it's starting to express an opinion. And you need to think about what's in their mind rather than uh, the direct and um, exact meaning or translation of the words. So, I might not be the youngest and prettiest teacher in uh, this, uh, in YouTube. However, I'm by far and out the best. Okay, so we use these may and might to avoid committing ourselves, to avoid saying yes, definitely. Because in British culture, when you say yes, definitely, then you must fulfill your obligation. By saying yes, definitely, the British understand that this is going to happen. And if you don't do it, then you will have a reputation for being unreliable. For this reason, the Brits use may and might. 
to say it's possible, but I'm not going to commit myself in case something happens. Um, the weather may not be sunny and warm. It's bloody cold and wet. And that's the idea. Okay? So, I think this is more something we use when we're speaking. When we're speaking to people and trying to avoid hurting their feelings. So, let's recap with this. Oh, firstly, what about formality? I think this is probably neutral formality. This usage is great for um, a casual conversation. Um, I guess you could use it in a, in a more formal document, but I think you probably would be better to phrase it in a different way. So, use may and might to avoid uh, committing yourself and saying, yes, I'm going to do this. I will pay you tomorrow. I might pay you tomorrow. I may pay you tomorrow. Um, I will finish this uh, at six o'clock. I may finish this by six o'clock. It's still giving me the possibility that if I don't, I haven't broken my word. And then this concept of, instead of saying something direct, use the opposite adjective. That tastes awful. So, let's turn it round. This may not taste delicious. Yeah? However, dot, 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 okay? So, please try and use may and might in English rather than being direct. It'll make you sound a lot politer and people will, in the end, probably think better of you. Okay? It's the way the Brits are. So, anyway, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. May and might to avoid being direct and to be more polite.